Hello people and welcome to Free the Beast Ultimate Mod Pack Let's Play. This is episode 21 and we are officially starting to work with bees. Nice. So we are going to start with bee breeding and uh, tree breeding. Now there is my old base and this is just like a forestry bee breeding and tree breeding little base that I made over here. The uh, reason why I did it over here because there I'm really really laggy. I don't know yet why. Um, tried different options, a lot of stuff and none of them work. So yep, solution yet not found. Now I've been a little bit into exploring the world. I need some of the stuff so let's go over here. This is actually where my well, close to my old base, that is the ravine that I had. And why did I search for a jungle biome? Well, I need cocoa, so let's take this. And I should take a couple of trees. And look at this, I made myself... Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> so, yep, silly me. So, I made myself an advanced chainsaw and advanced chainsaw is pretty simple to make so you make only regular chainsaw five steel one electronic circuit one battery and then you place three overclockers one diamond and two advanced circuits and you get advanced chainsaw but what did i do i placed an enchantment you do this in the anvil using a book with enchantment and placed efficiency four so it's super ultra fast. Now, um, when exploring the world, I collect basically all the resources that I found that are quite valuable or, well, not so easy to find otherwise. So I have some great wood logs, which I will use for farmcraft later on, and also silver wood logs. I also got one great wood sapling. I wanted a silver wood sapling also, but yeah, never mind. So got plenty of stuff, got plenty of wood, which we will use a lot, so especially for this kind of stuff, and what's over here, over here, okay, got some bees, hunter's backpack, these are just basically a lot of food and stuff, okay, so let me get a couple of these trees, where, where did I, oh, yeah, over here. So, now, what to do to get more cocoa beans? Well, chop some of this, oh, and I will actually need that, so, chop some logs, jungle wood logs, to have spare. Come on, I don't know how much do I have, probably enough, but never mind. So, Yep, this will be a portable, oh come on, and let's take this shall we, so this is Coco. Now I would like to find a jungle hive, but that's for the jungle bees, but I don't know quite how is that possible, because they are really really hard to find sometimes, so they are on the trees, but they're really hard to find so it's easier to find them at night because they glow so just looking at the minimap from the top you will see a light so that should make a life more easier to find them so i'll probably get here oh nice a lot of cocoa beans sweet so i will need this right away and now Mm, that's it. So let's return to our base and let's start with bees. Come on. Whoop. Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. We will need that too. I got some pumpkins also. And all will be explained in a moment. Just let me return. Safely return. And I'm off. Sweet. I'm back. Now, how to get more cocoa beans? Pretty simply, just 
get your jungle wood and we'll just place it over yeah should I place it outside or something maybe yep here will be fine no no let me place it over yeah sure why not over here so just like so doesn't need to be in this order I just place it so that I have more products now just click with the cocoa seed over here and you will get this type of um, well I don't know what are they how are they called but never mind they will grow in time and they will produce more cocoa for you so instead of this one you will get three so let's leave that and also look already I have ah, they're not mature yet so already they are developing so what shall we do for the start well first things first get an apiary that's like the first stuff that we will need now I want to start to breed them over here and I wanted to actually to make a door over here too but here with my aviaries okay I will make that but first let's just place our bees eh, let's say over here so two apiaries over here I will need a flower and that's it so okay I took a little nap and I'm back now what first you need to know well first you need to know that there are how to get these as I've shown you already I'm doing this from the first episode you need a scoop which is crafted simply with one wool never mind which color it is and six sticks like so this will give you the scoop you just well hit the hives these are the hives that you can find in the world and you will get the bees from them now there are different types of hives there are seven from forestry that is vanilla forestry there are seven hives and there are four from extra bees now first one is forest meadows desert jungle snow swamp and of course the end hive which can be only found in the end so these seven are forestry vanilla hives now four which are from the extra bees are water rock nether and marble hive now from different types of bees that you will get from this so uh, from different hives you will of course get different bees so logically from forest hive you will get forest bee from this one you will get meadows modest uh, tropical wintry swamp that is marshy uh, water rock that is water rocky um excited it's not excited, embittered embittered and marble so of course from the other uh, from the end hive you will get ender bees now from different kind of bee you will get different kind of products and each bee has a different treat that is uh, forest bees let have let's say um what's different than the others well they multiply by three that is they give you three drones uh, meadows give you two minch we give you four which is the maximum and that's the well, basically the most important part that you actually wanna know for now different bees require different flowers and different biomes now in plains biome as you can see we are in the plains biome now you can check in your apiary okay this this is no queen of course because we have no bees over here you can check in your apiary when you set it up that this climate is normal temperature is normal and humidity is also normal now plains of course uh, winter biomes and tropical that is jungle biomes uh, of course the nether and everything is different so read somewhere about it please and uh, well 
to get more info on it. So basically, forest meadows can live in plains, meadows biome, of course, forest biome, and well, bees tell you exactly by the name where they should belong. Now, of course, desert hive require more humidity, so they can be bred in, I think, also in the nether, and should be bred in the jungle. I'm not sure about that, but they can be definitely live in desert. Now, jungle, uh, that is tropical bees, can live also in some other biomes than jungle. So, wind tree, that is from snow hive, they can't only winter so you will get well we will get to that so you will get few information about it and maybe well understand more better than you did before or maybe you will maybe you already know more than me never mind so let's begin before I completely lose myself so in order to breed bees you need apiary now there is two type of well, not machines, blocks, uh, that is contraptions, let's call it like that. So there's the apiary, which is a single block item, and there's the alviary, which is three by three and a half, three by three by three and a half tall, basically multi-block structure, which we will get in the future, because it's pretty expensive, and you will see that in a couple of episodes, what I mean by that. So, apiaries are well, the best solution that you can get for now. There is three, that is, you can get apiary by getting it from villagers, that is, stealing it, or from players in multiplayer, which I don't support at all. That's not fun, that's not cool, so don't do it. So you can get it from stealing from a villager, buying from a villager for 24 oak logs, or you can craft it. Now we will get to crafting in, well, basically soon because we will need a lot of these apiaries. I want to get this moving really fast. So apiaries are crafted using three wooden slab and three, uh, five wooden planks and an impregnated casing which re requires eight logs in a carpenter with seed oil. So I will explain that in a bit. Now, in order to start breeding, we will get a Meadows Princess, a Forest Drone, and Forest Princess, and a Meadows Drone. Now, the point of bee breeding is to crossbreed them, because if you place, well, same princess and same drone, you will have that kind of, a, well, that type of bee all the time. So if you place Meadows with Meadows, we will have Meadows. If we place forest with forest, of course we will have forest. Now, if you crossbreed this, you will get maybe possible a mutation. So, if you, well, maybe you will get a uh, Meadows Princess back, a uh, Meadows Forest Drone, or, and a Forest Drone. So, that depends, that statistic, that, that's like a chance. So, or maybe you will get even better bees. Who knows? We will see. So you can crossbreed basically any type of bee with this that we just mentioned, so tropical, never mind. But have in mind you ha need to be in a specific biome. For one, oh, I need to go to sleep. For one and only reason, and that you will, and you will see that in the future, uh, I have selected plains biome, and I will mention that when the time comes. So. Let's start with this. Let's place Meadows Princess and Forest Drone. And this is basically the first type of combination that you will do. So this is typically old school forestry and I use it all the time. So this is how I start my breeding. Now, apiaries have this interface over here. And over here you place your Princess and Drone. Over here your Drone. Now, they will, well, mate or I don't know how you call it, and they will create a queen. Now, you can see this red button over here, which says no flowers. How hive members are not finding the right flowers. Now, you can place 
um, flower rose red never mind which basically it's ne it needs to be a flower so I think also that extra biomes flowers are also accepted so as you can see now let's just notice yep it has disappeared so now they have a flower and needs to be well not so close like three four five de depends on the bee how close the flower needs to be usually I put them just in the middle because I don't use this space so do have in mind that each bee um, well some bees are pretty similar like meadows and forestry uh, meadows and forest what's wrong with me oh. so meadows and forest basically have the same taste for flowers uh, tropical bees need this how do you call it wines uh, marshy bees need mushrooms uh, what else water bees need um, lily pad rock bees need rock and basically that's it so I think wintry bees yeah use also these flowers so I think and the end bees ender bees need dragon egg so have that in mind now uh, the whole point of breeding as I said is to get better bees why well each type of bee has also different type of product now different types of product when centrifuged I will show you the machine we will make a machine which is called centrifuge and it basically gives you from combs more products so let's check how much combs we have so usually they would be just honeycomb simmering stringy frozen dripping silky parched mossy and 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 their comb so uh, which is called pulsating I think not pulsating something like that pulsating comb from ender bees and this is vanilla forestry combs this over here are extra bees combs which give you really really a lot of stuff so you can get you can see radioactive comb which well obviously gives you uranium there's the clay comb the coffee comb blazing mucus there's like tons of it you see here and these four over here are actually from thomic bees which we also have installed so we will get to them also and now <sighs> let's go over here so that's for the breeding um, that's one way that is one reason why you should breed your bees other reason is to prolong them that is lifetime never mind because different types of bees have really really a lot of treats and I won't bother you right now with that because I cannot show you I will make a device which is called the bee analyzer and then we will put some bees in it to analyze them and we will actually see what's the difference between those bees now you may be asking what what are these two interfaces this interface here will give you well when this queen dies it will give you a princess and a couple of drones or maybe more depending on the species and this over here also the combs over here so this over here is reserved for frames now frames depending on which frame it is does different stuff of course now there are different types of frames and there are three from forestry then there are five from extra bees and six from thorncraft that is from uh, thomic bees now first is the untreated frame untreated frame is made simply with stick and a string that is eight sticks and a string in the middle and they don't last very long and they don't give that much more products so basically this three frames over here just basic well as you can see this bee hasn't give, given any product yet so we need something to improve that and that's that something can be achieved with frames so untreated frame will increase the chance for a product but not that much impregnated frame it lasts long and gives you more chance so uh, you need to give that is place eight impregnated sticks like this 
uh, with a string in the middle and you get impregnated frame. So basically that's two logs in a carpenter with seed oil and you will get two impregnated sticks. Pretty expensive. And then there is the third one which is called proven frame. Proven frame can be only bought from villagers. That's it. You cannot craft it. So it costs one emerald, you will get six proven frames. So it's not that well, it's not that much. But the problem is if you have lots of apiaries you will need to use a lot of them and you will need to have a lot of emeralds. Now the first frame that we will use is the chocolate frame. Chocolate frame is made with four cocoa beans and one impregnated frame and this basically decreases the lifetime of the bees and very rapidly so basically the bees will die very fast and they won't be able to give a product maybe one or two but that's very 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 unlikely so i will explain why will i use this restraint frame now restraint frame decreases the territory decreases the lifespan decreases the product so basically it's actually useless i didn't find any use for it yet now soul frame is very very different Soul frame is actually a frame which we will use very much. So just place impregnated frame with piece of soul sand that is a block of soul sand, and you will get soul frame. Soul frames actually uh, give you more percentage for mutation. So basically, if you place these ones, you will have more chance for, to mutate towards a greater B because mutations never that is not always give you a mutation that goes beyond that is to a better B. It can be a mutation basically you will you can get just hybrids and not get a specific B. Soul frame increases the chance to go for pure breed basically so we will use them a lot. Healing frame heals heals the bees basically well lifespan will be longer oh I need to sleep again so basically increases the lifetime of the bees and there's the Nova frame Nova frame which is kind of a cool looking is actually used only probably by the moth author to test the bees and everything so this is also well, you can get it only from creative now there are six more well frames which are pretty similar to this ones. This is from well, like the Thomic Bees and those we will see when we do Thongcraft because we cannot get it right now. So let's see if we don't have any creepers over here. No, okay. So let's go over here and as you can see we actually have a mutation to a better common princess. Sweet. This is the first step of the mutation, but before we start, we need to see what these bees are, that is, uh, not go blind on them. So now we can see that's common princess and this unknown, that's what interests us. So let's get to crafting some machines. I have prepared some resources over here, so let's get some copper, some tin, we'll need some glass for the start okay now first thing that we're gonna do is get some bronze and let's get some more shall we over here and 62 64 sweet 64 bronze now we will use a lot of these sturdy casings so let's make a few and let's actually get even more bronze it will be quite useful so let's get, I don't know, maybe that much. Sweet. Now, first machines that we need to craft is two carpenters. Then we need to craft the squeezer, one of them. No, we will need only one. And 
and we need one centrifuge. Now these these machines need to be powered by Billcraft Microjoule well system. So in that with that in mind I have crafted three magmatic engines and I will just put some lava cans first inside because we already have a redstone energy cell which is pretty much full and I will place them just below so let me make a placement for the machines and I'll be back so basically setup is same as I have in the base so I have three engines pumping power into this and this will produce uh, let's say okay they will produce 12 and microwave joules per tick I will set this to 15 so ah, that doesn't mind so much now where did I lose this come on you come over here and remove this now I will need one more thing I will need three of you three not four and place over here sweet I will need to hit you with a wrench come on hammer never mind like so and now I need two levers which I think I already took but actually I didn't never mind let's place a redstone torch sweet and it works and let's just turn off the engines for a while just let's say redstone signal then redstone signal so I will actually need some cobble because my FPS dropped when I started them so I don't know if this is one of the reasons yeah and it decreased so maybe the engines are also the problem hmm never mind so next step is to give well water to one carpenter and seed oil to another carpenter now first things first where is I have cocoa combs I have a honeycombs this I got from the hives actually cocoa combs are from the villagers those are the products from valiant princesses and we'll take also this so now what I need to do is to go to centrifuge and just place the comb over here and it will give me a product now parched comb will give me beeswax and honey drop frozen comb I have a chance to give me frozen propolis I think maybe it will give me maybe not not frozen propolis uh, it's called crystalline pollen and snowball yeah I will place honeycomb to get more beeswax and honey drops we will need honey drops in order to get well to be allies are bees I'll probably get five and that's about it yeah so cocoa combs will give me maybe cocoa and beeswax now next step let us get four water cans and I will need two diamonds let me place this over here I will need two diamonds I will need four copper and four tin I will need four redstone and where is where is where is my over here and four of glass paints now place into carpenter water cans to get water of course and now with this recipe that I'm giving over here placing over here will give us the bealizer it will take some time to craft it and this we will use to bealize our bees so let me wait for hmm, actually I don't need to wait now in order to get seed oil you need vanilla seeds so we take some seeds you can use pumpkin seeds melon seeds normal seeds except for these flax seeds which are actually red power and they well they didn't work 
I don't know if they work now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they work. Sweet. So maybe I will even go for the flax seeds instead of pumpkin seeds. Sweet. So they didn't work on a server, but now they do. Nice. Okay, so this will give us seed oil and we'll momentarily pump it into carpenter and we will use it for, to get some materials for frames, apiaries and stuff like that. So let's leave this to work and let's check this. Yep, Bializer over here. Now when you open the Bializer you will see that you need to place honey drops or honeydew over here and it will say supply B and provide honey or honeydew as specifier. Now let's place our princess and it will tell us it's common meadows this is active this is inactive but this m counts also lifespan shorter shorter speed slowest so it isn't very practical to use this for products pollination is also slower pollination is for tree breeding so have that in mind flowers it uses actually uses flowers fertility it will give us two drones each time it dies area this is basically the common area which it pollinates and it doesn't have any effect effects you will see there are lots of them included now second stage is and this will only use 100 drops don't worry so it will tell you which climate which temperature uh, what temperature tolerance it has what humidity it well actually likes and what humidity tolerance now tolerances will basically tell you that if it's temperature uh, climate if it's above normal it will tolerate let's say plus one plus two plus three or plus four so basically what this will tell you is it can live in a desert if it has certain amount of tolerance also the humidity counts now let's go over here nocturnal no flyer no cave no basically what this means is if it can work overnight and if it can well basically be in captivity that is in uh, the cave or something so now natural origin one generations in captivity this is basically how much you breed it it will be more in captivity now possible products is well only the honeycomb and possible mutations as you can see there are a lot of them now this is blah 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 this is not important definitely so we have common meadows and let's check what we did actually get with this meadow drone it's meadows forest and this is probably forest meadows yep so basically what I do because I don't have any more honey drops I have only two left I just mix it until I see the common princess that is this color of a princess in one apiary and the color of the drone in other or maybe in the same apiary that doesn't mind so this is meadows queen okay let's take you two now so basically I do it blindly because resources are well scarce now so okay next recipe remove tin and place copper this will give us a trealizer and a trealizer we will use but in probably next episode because we hit the mark so this episode I was basically only talking and uh, frantically talking so sorry about that but really tired and I don't know what is wrong with my brain actually but this was it so this was the first episode basically introduction to bee breeding and we will continue on next episode with more stuff to come so thanks for watching and bye bye